Hi there, student artists. It's Miss K, otherwise known as Miss Kowalczyk, coming at you from my art studio at home. Welcome to our very first episode of Artie Party. Artie Party is going to be digital videos of me sharing some art activities with you, some drawing ideas, and a few jokes. Um, before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to a dear friend of mine named Baxter Bonanza. Hello, I'm Baxter Bonanza. I'm Miss K's friend. I'm here to have a good time. I hope you have fun. See ya. All right, thank you, Baxter Bonanza. He will be right here with us on the screen as we do our drawing activity. And he will give us some drawing tips and some jokes along the way. So um, usually in art class, I would check to make sure everybody was sitting in body basics, otherwise known as Mona Lisa style. But because you're at home, your Mona Lisa style might look a little bit different. You might have bare feet and your legs might be up and you're relaxing. Or you might even be sitting with a pet, like Lady with an Ermine. Um, which was also painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Either way, I hope that you're sitting or standing and you're ready to pay attention to what our drawing, drawing activity will be. Um, so there are a few things that you're going to use for our project. You're going to be using sunflowers. So I hope you can go to your backyard and get some sunflowers. You'll need a container of goldfish, so please go to a pet store or a pond if you don't have any goldfish. You'll need pet paper and pencil. You can also use um, the back of some mail or cereal box if you need, and a can of tomato soup. So I hope you have those things at home to use. But I'm just kidding. The only thing that you're going to need is your um, observation eyes. So you're really looking closely at the objects that you're drawing. And you're going to need some drawing materials. So anything that you want to use is just fine. You could use markers, pencils, pens. You decide. And then a drawing surface. So your drawing surface could be, like I said before, the back of a cereal box so if you cut it apart you can use the inside of the cereal box or the back of some mail or maybe you have some notebook paper that you could use um, any of those will work just fine and you're not going to need goldfish or sunflowers or any of those things unless you have them and you want to use them so this project is called a still life drawing a still life is a group of objects that are placed together that you look at very closely and you try to draw realistically. Remember, realistic looks like the real object, the real thing. So for this project, you could have your family members involved. You could um, get a bag and give each person a turn with your bag and they can place a different object in it and then at the end you'll have a surprise you'll have the items that you'll be drawing or you could just collect the items on your own so I had um, Baxter Bonanza and I collect some things so we collected this big stick that has some nice shading and texture bumps on it so I'll be drawing that and I'll have it be partnered next to um, the ceramic cat that I have and then I have this squishy ball that I'll put in my drawing and I have two candies so you probably don't have the same exact objects that I have. That's okay. You are making your very own still life. So you're going to pick out items that you have at home to draw. 
Then after you get your items, you're going to place them together like I have here. And you're going to look at them very closely. So I have them, I'm going to decide, I kind of put them together, decide where I want each item. And then I leave it right where it is. Then I'm going to very carefully look at it and draw my items. All right, hopefully you've picked out your items and you're ready to draw. Before we get started, let's hear from Baxter Bonanza. He has a joke to share with us. I got a joke for you, kidders. And I hope you think it's funny. How does a cat like the steak? Rare. Thanks, Baxter. So, after you have your objects together, then you're going to start drawing them. When you're drawing, you're drawing very lightly. You're really looking at each object very closely. So, while I am drawing, I'm looking at the diagonal line of the stick that's in my drawing, in my still life. And I'm drawing the circular shape of the squishy ball. And then I'm lightly drawing the shape of the cat's face. Remember, draw light until I get it right. And um, remember, if you're in fourth grade, we talked about proportions. So when we drew our self-portraits, we talked about comparing where different things are on your drawing and comparing <clears throat> the sizes of things so that you know where each item goes. All right. I'm going to carefully continue to draw after I have a plan of what I'm drawing with all this light drawing then I'm going to start adding my details and I'm going to show you some progress pictures along the way and hopefully I will get a lot of emails of your drawings I will be putting them in the beginning of our next video. So enjoy your drawing and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.